Why, hello. In my ongoing quest to play with all the art supplies that exist, let's get these out. These uh, gelatos. I have a whole bunch of them. As you can see, a lot of them. But let's do smart with them. These are old friends. I've had them for a while. They're not light fast, so you wouldn't make like actual fine art stuff with them, but I, they're good craft supplies. They're fun to use. They're water soluble. They come in the little, little, the look like little chapstick things, but here's the picture I'm going to use. You know, it's, it's the woods, it's the mountains. I mean, is anybody here surprised? If you are, you haven't been here long, <laughs> but it's, this is what I have in my coffee. Okay. I'm a little extra about things. Yeah. I, I, I put fun things in my coffee. <laughs> I much prefer to go the naturally flavored route when we put actual spices and stuff in it instead of the uh, unnaturally flavored things that you can buy from the store. I'd much rather do it this way. But here we go. Let's get started on some mountains. We'll see if we can do semi-realism with this because I don't think I've done that. Since these aren't light fast, I kind of have reserved these for fun sketching and alien landscapes and other stuff that I haven't like filmed and that kind of stuff. Because, I mean, there's there's not really much I can do with it afterwards other than take a photo of it. But, you know, I have a lot of supplies like that. So I should get these out and play with them, you know? Anyways, the alien landscape stuff I have done for many years. Mostly just not filmed because this whole filming thing and putting on YouTube is kind of new to me. I'm, I'm still working on it. Anytime I make a video and put it out there, I'm always so surprised that anybody even wants to watch it at all. I'm just a Midwest lady who's uh, given some people out there some encouragement to try to do it too. There's a lot of self-benefit in spending the time to do this kind of stuff. It does seem to be a helpful thing to do, at least for me. It is kind of like meditation. It is. Art is always a bit half meditation, half art, half active process. That's more than 100%, you see. <laughs> Ah, that's a mess. I'm a mess, okay? But if you have some of these lying around, just, just pick them up and play with them because they're real easy to use. You can smear them around with your fingers. You don't even have to get out a brush. You can if you want to. They do uh, dissolve into water pretty good, but you do have to use quite a bit of the crayon itself. They're not super pigmented, so you end up using a lot of the crayon. They were cheap when I bought them. I'm not upset about that. It's, it's fine. And since they're in that container, you don't have to touch them with your fingers at all. I'm not a texture person, so none of that stuff bothers me. I don't have texture issues with like chalks and pigments and stuff. I, I don't really, that, that stuff doesn't bother me. I'm never worried about getting my fingers dirty. In fact, it happens almost every single time I use any supply at all. We're getting some pretty decently good color matches to what real life might actually look like in this case. I mean, I, I, okay, so I jazzed up the uh, shadows a little bit with some extra blue and purple, which I, I can't help it. I seem to do that. Even when I'm plain air painting, I seem to do that because I like I like the effect, okay? <laughs> it, it seems to make the entire piece brighter when you do that kind of thing. It is the painter's version of makeup for landscape, okay? <laughs> try it, try it once. You might like it. If you don't, try it again. <laughs> you can get this sort of effect with any similar water-based medium like this. You can do the same thing with a gouache. You can do the same thing with a different brand of artist crayons like this or craft crayons like this. You don't have to go out and specifically get these gelatos, not at all. You can do the same thing with similar colors in any other medium, okay? In fact, you could even do this with oil. And it, it might be even better with oil if you do an underpainting underneath because the colors would be more interesting to the eye. And that, that's how that kind of thing works. But in, in this case, I'm able to layer, I'm able to blend, I'm able to have a lot of contrast. I, you know, they're, it's a, it's a pretty good medium. I really like these gelatos. It's just, you have to, you have to understand they are not going to hold up at all. They, they just don't. Sketching and just, just stuff for yourself or stuff you want to take a picture for, they're very nice. And look, if you blend it with your fingers, all of those little spaces that didn't get the paint in them actually fill up. So I'm, I'm able to make it almost feel like 
a picture that's just a little out of focus. It kind of feels a little bit like a daydream, a daydream in the mountains is kind of what it's like. And I like that sort of thing. I like that a lot. That's a pretty good description of what my personality seems to be like. It's just, we just get along, you know, it's that kind of thing. But if you like this, I want you to get out whatever supply you got and try to do something like this, looking out into the mountains in kind of a daydream kind of way. Very pleasant sort of landscape to look out into. The diagnosis for these gelatos is that they're a lot of fun. I like them. I think they are very worth keeping around to sketch in. I really do. Very good for craft stuff. I would not use this in a fine art sense. Please don't do that. You're going to be very disappointed. Thank you for hanging out today. Keep your cup full. Bye. I regret my life decisions. <laughs> now I have to put all these away. Why do I do this every time? Why? Can we at least a little bit try to control the chaos? Just just, just a little bit every once in a while. I mean, like, have a curl it, right, please? <laughs>